Welcome to a look at new mods on Farming Simulator 19 with me, Mr. Sealy P. It's Monday, it's mod time. It's the 20th of April and we have new mods. Um, we have some updates. We've got updates to the Powerful Spotlights by Vanquish081, the Farmhouse by Musagra, the John Deere 6M series by Blauer, the SMS LV 520T, which is like a roller pack. Uh, type thing by DD Mod Passion, the GFKV pack, the Galignani um, small round baler by RL Modding, and they've added in some extra configurations. I think you can have a Cavernland, you can have a Fent, and there's another one. What was the other one? My mind's gone blank. Uh, Cavernland, Fent, and Vicon um, as options available on that now in an update. And there's been an update to the Fent 800S 4 by STV Modding. Uh, those are the updates. As for mods directly in front of us, we have got the John Deere 6x20 6x20 six six series. This is exactly the same as the one I did my tractor driving experience in. It's really nice. I like this. This is by Johnny6530. Lovely tidy mod. Slightly older, say only slightly older John Deere. The newer ones have got a more kind of pointed end uh, to them. I like this one. I don't know. I suppose because I got to drive one and it's that kind of wow, that's just like the one. That's why I went for weights on the front rather than the three point link because the one I drove had like a box weight on the front. I just thought, yeah, it looks just like it. Very nice indeed. You'll find this under tractors, uh, medium tractors. So there we go. 6x20 series or 6x20 series. Um, this will use up, how many slots was this? Uh, this is 46 slots. To be fair, the other John Deere's, the 6M and the 6R, are 41 on here, so it's not actually that me me that many more. Yeah, that much more. Um, we can have it standard, three-point link. We can have it with a 420 kilogram weight, 620 kilogram weight, 820, 1020. Back to three-point link on the front. Um, we can have Trelleborgs, and with the Trelleborgs we've got Standards, Wides and Narrows. We've also got the option of Mites, you can have Standard or Wides. And then we've got Michelin, Standard or Wides. And then we've got Knock-ins on the Communal, like so. Uh, let's go back to... Uh, and then we've got the option of engine setup. We have the 6620 at 125 horsepower, or we can have the 6920 at 160 horsepower. Those are the two options. There is also a 6920S, which gives you an S on the actual bonnet itself, um, but it doesn't make any difference to the horsepower, but it does add an extra five grand on. So mm, my question is, why would you go for the S unless you just particularly want an S? Um, unless there is a horsepower increase, but it's just not showing on here, maybe. But um, but you can have an S version if you want to have the S version. And then we've got the option of a front loader attacher, yes or no. And with that front loader attacher, you've got the tool book, toolbox attachment on the side of that as well. Those are your options available. So, on. Lights, beacons, I like this, it's nice, uh, right, let's see if we can get this right first time, we'll see, right, so L1, R1, and right stick up and down, we'll open and close the rear window, got the handle moves as well, it opens up, and then L1, R1, and side to side on the, on the right stick does the door. So L1, R1, side to side. L1, R1, up and down on the right stick does your rear window. Those are your options for windows and doors. I like this. Have I mentioned that? <laughs> so, in cab... Lights down the side. That's an interesting one. Got the interior light comes on there, and you've got this kind of red glow comes over everything. 
don't think there's anything that comes up for beacons, I can tell. Indicators. Audible as well. And there you go. That's John Deere 6X20 series by Johnny6530. Very nice indeed. Anyway, moving on, we've got these street signs. This is by Funky. Now, my, I think my thumbnail is going to be with these on. Um, and they, when you put a light on them, they do reflect these ones here in the middle. These are two slots each for the first one you place. And you'll find these under... Um, where were they? <laughs> Placeables Decoration, I think it was. I've just realised I missed two. Right, we have got the right-of-way sign. We've got a stop sign. There's a no parking sign. We've got keep left long, keep right long, priority road, pedestrian crossing, and keep right stripe. The scarecrow's not part of this pack. That's something completely different. I missed off these two. They should have been on my thumbnail. Anyway, never mind. Um, let's place one of those now then. Uh, rotate it around so it's facing the right way. Put that uh, there. There's your stop sign. There you go. So if you're building up a map and you're just trying to add a little bit more detail and be a bit more immersive on your map, a few road signs for you to place. Nicely detailed, nice and clear. Like I say, put a light on them and they do reflect. I mean, really reflect. That's quite impressive when you consider the lighting system... I mean, that, as soon as you put the light on that, you get that real glare back at you. They're fantastic. I apologise for that. That's, that's my wife upstairs on the phone. She's, I think she's talking to my son. <laughs> she's just suddenly started erupting into laughter for some reason. Anyway, um, so there you go. That's the street signs. That's by Funky. Um, very cool. Like those. Uh, moving on. We have got this. This is the Field Shelter. This is by Diesel Hirsch. Um, is that the right one? Yep, Diesel Hirsch. Nicely detailed, a lot going on this. Nice textures, I love the cartwheel over the top there. I think that's brilliant. Um, this will use, how many slots is this? This is 12 slots. You can put bales in here, vehicles, anything you like really. It's a nice looking mod. I say, the texturing looks really good. It looks like wood, you know. Sometimes you get wooden ones and they're not quite there, you know. But yeah, I like that. A lot of detail. You'll find this under placeables, under sheds. Field shelter. Seven grand to place uh, and only 12 slots. Not too bad at all. What we'll do is look at the next one in here first and we'll have a look at it. Um, the garage 21 by 10 metres, which is 15 grand. This is by DB Modding. Um, there are no options. You just buy it and place it. Um, but 15 grand's not too bad either. That's the next one. So that's the field shelter. This one is the garage 21 by 10 metres by DB Modding. You've got four entrances on the front for parking. What I like is this end one here has a drive through so you can open up the rear doors and if you've got something long or something awkward to pull or you know, whatever it might be, you can go right way through. Again, fantastic textures on this. It looks like some people call construction blocks, breeze blocks, that kind of it has got that look to it. But yeah, it's a nice mod. Again, nicely detailed inside as well. We've got lights over here. Nice and bright with the lights on. All four doors across the front open. Plenty of storage and for 15 grand you can't odds it. It's not a bad size either. It's nice that. I like that one. There you go. So that's the garage, 21 by 10 metres by DB Modding. Moving on. Whoa, that's right next to us. We have got this, the Dongreville. This is the Dongreville. Now, you have to be careful here. This is the Dongreville BB18T. This by Simulator Games. Pipitch, I think it is. And Lexic Design. We've had a few Dongreville trailers recently and there was a Dongreville B18 this is the BB18 <laughs> oh I had to make sure I got the right one in from in the mod hub because I think I've still got a few of them installed um, another really nice tidy mod 
the distinctive bright orange for the Dongreville trailers. Nicely detailed. Decals don't blur. Not bad at all. Uh, this you will find under trailers. And like I said, got to be careful because I've got the B132B. I think a bit further along, I've got another one. Or oh, was that in the mod tub? Oh, I can't remember now. But yeah, there's another. They're all over the place. I've got a load of them. Anyway, uh, this one is this one right here. If I ever get back to the trains again. The BB18T. Uh, we have options on this. We can have capacity at 16,000 litres, like so. We can have 18,000 litres with the slight extensions on that. And then we can go up to 21,000 litres. Um, 21,000 litres for 20,700. That's not too bad. That's a pretty good price for a 21,000 litre trailer. We can have the option of lizards or Michelins on your tyres. If you go for Michelins, you've got the Michelin X bibs or the Michelin XS. I like the XS, I have to be honest. Slightly more knobbly tyres, slightly more interesting tread, I guess, is the reason I kind of like that one. Um, this will take all crop types and it will also take the new straw and hay pellets as well, which is jolly handy. Uh, so, yeah, not bad at all. Uh, let me just grab... Actually, we'll use the John Deere. Where did I leave that? I know we use this. We're here with this. We might use it. Just so we can see the animation. Do I have a beacon on the back as well? Nice smooth tip animation. Kind of a dump trailer. Indicators. Beacon off. Lights off. Yeah, not bad that one. There we go. So that's the Dongreville BB18T by Simulator Games, Pipich and Lexic Design. What I'm going to do is disconnect that. And I'll back up to the other one. Or the next one. Let's just stop there so we can have a look at it. So this is go the right way. Now this is one of three options on this. This is the Lizard N235 slash 1. This is by Borsuk and Kopi. Uh, this is 10 slots. It's a little small, a little small, a small trailer, a little trailer um, of the Lizard variety. Um, you will find this initially under manure spreaders um, because it does come as a manure spreader option. Uh, 6,100 which is next to nothing. Um, so you can have it in this configuration as a muck spreader. It does 4 metre spread in a muck spreader. It's 3,500 3, litres. So it's not massive. It's for small fields, small farms, that kind of thing. Uh, we can change the rim colour to any one of these colours here that we want to go for. Uh, we can change the main colour, which changes the main body. And then we can change the design colour, which changes the chassis, like so. So combinations of any of those. Configuration, we can have standard, which is the muck spreader. We can have it as a trailer, like so. Or we can have it as, as a silage trailer, which increases the capacity. So if we go back down to normal trailers, it's still 3,500. If we go up to a silage trailer, it takes up to 9,000 litres. But I would believe, as a silage trailer, it will only take forage, I would think. Don't hold me to that. Um... We'll check on the outside and come back out. Now, protective cover, which is the next option, is around the side here, and that's the mechanics, the workings for the operation of the floor, the belts, those kind of things. So you can have it with a cover on or cover off, like so. And then we'll set up, we can have standard or wide. Those are options. Um, as far as what it takes, it says it takes everything. Like I say, but I would imagine when you put it in your silage configuration, it would only do forage, but maybe it will take everything in that Actually, there is a way to check, isn't there? Because I've got it in the silage one at the moment. So what we'll do... Let's hook it up. I'm going to whiz over to my buy anything silo and let's see if it will take anything. I'm just thinking, 9,000 litre capacity. That's not too bad, actually, for a little trailer. So let's see what it will let me do. Wood chip, silage, straw, grass, sugar cane, hay, chaff... Yeah, so if you have it in the silage um, option, it will only do forage. It won't do everything. I thought that would probably be the case. Um, this one has got a nice animation on it as well for unload, this particular one. 
we go to unload like so opens the bottom flap the top flap and then the belt moves on the back the actual bed moves the floor that's nice that that's the lizard m235 slash one by borsuk and kopi moving on we have got uh what's next oh yes we've got a front cultivator hey it's mod monday it wouldn't be a new week without a three meter cultivator and we have the Vaderstat front tiller because it goes on the front. Three metre Vaderstat tiller. We have options of standard or you can have it with weights added on as well. So you could use it as a front weight as well if you want to. So you can cultivate at the front and then seed at the back if you want to. I know there are options where you can have cultivators on with the seeder at the back and so on and so forth. But you can have this at the front should you wish to do so. Nicely detailed mod actually. Again, the decals on it, nice and clear guide wheel on the front as well so it doesn't put too much weight and strain on the three point link drop it down and away we go there we go we find this under cultivators there. Uh, so, under cultivators, where are we? There we go. 1,550 for a 3 metre. Um, and you get what you get. I don't think there's any options available other than changing the weight. Yeah, we can have standard or with weight. Those are your two options. There you go. Very nice indeed. Um, that one is by Matt26 and Shardy. Um, moving on to, I think, the last of our mods for today, and that's over here. This is the Cistern. This is a tanker trailer. Something a little bit different. At the end of the day, it's a tanker, but I like the design of it. These are like saddlebags you get on the old, uh, like the motorbikes, the bobbers and those kind of things. There's a couple of options available here, a few options available on this. Um, it's 32,000 litre capacity. Um... This one is by Cooper 3D Agra Modding. I like it. Very shiny. Um, there's an animation on this, and as you've probably seen from the thumbnail, the lighting on the back of this is phenomenal. I think it's absolutely brilliant. Um, this you will find under... Where did I find this in the end? Was it animals? I'm trying to think now. Or was it miscellaneous? It was under animals. I thought it was. I tried miscellaneous and it wasn't there. 65,000 to buy, 32,000 litre capacity. This will do milk, it will do water, and it will do fuel. Options available. Where it says you can change the main colour, if you look at the bins around the side, the actual tank itself stays the same, but the bins are what change colour. I can't actually zoom in any closer. Um, so at the moment, it's on chrome. We can have stainless steel bins on the bottom, or we can go for black bins on the bottom. Uh, rim colour, we can pick from any of those options, but at the top we do have standard, we've got polished metal, we've got a chrome, then we've got white, and then you kind of work your way through all the different options you've got available, so whatever you'd rather go for on that. And then we've got, on the side, we've got nothing, so if you're going to do milk or you're going to do water, or you can have it, that one there, which is your fuel option, which puts the warning symbols on the side of the vehicle, and I think it's on the back as well. It does, like so, for taking fuel if you want to go down that route. So, the actual um, animation on this, if we unfold it, like that, it puts the ladder down and it puts the handrail up the top for safety. So L1 and left on my D-pad does that to open it up, which is cool. Lights, oh, I love that. Looks like something from Tron. That is so cool. How brilliant is that? Anyway, one thing I will point out. When you come to fill this up, wherever you should fill it up. Um, if I go to put water or milk in this from this particular one here. If I just go underneath it and press L3, nothing happens. 
So you do have to open it up, ladder down, side rail up, then press L3, and then it gives you the option to fill it with water or milk. This particular buy anything silo doesn't do fuel, um, so if you're going under something or next to something can't work out why it's not letting you refuel, it might be because you actually need to open the cover to get that to work. Um, but yeah, that's really, really nice, that. Slightly different to what we've had recently. But um, not bad at all. So that's the Cistern by Cooper 3D Agra modding. And that, oh, that's 13 slots, by the way. Thought I'd mention that. That's 13 slots. Um, that brings us to the end of the mods for today. Well, for today. Um, I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.